Hey guys, welcome to Horror and Me, and this is The Daily 28. Um, I thought I'd do something a little different today. Um, I kind of just want to, I guess, get something off my chest maybe, or kind of just put a look, put some people at ease a little bit. Um, I've noticed since I started doing the daily vlogs, I've gotten a lot, obviously a lot of questions, but I've also gotten a lot of like thumbs down on certain, on certain videos. Um, I don't take offense to that. Um, I, I just, I want to say, I don't think people realize that when they thumb somebody down, um, you may be thinking that it's to tell them, oh, you suck or something like that, but it still does well for, for somebody's video, right? Like it doesn't really affect like my videos or anybody else's videos you do that with. The reason I bring that up is because I've noticed lately um, that with my workout videos, I'm getting a lot of thumbs downs on stuff. Again, it's not something I'm worried about. I just wanna explain something to you guys. So um, as far as the daily vlogs and um, the working out stuff, the reason I've been doing that is because I've had people ask me for that, honestly. Um, these daily vlogs are intended to kind of listen to what you guys are saying in the comments and try to give you what you guys want. Um, obviously, the reason I'm doing it right now, and I've said it in other videos, is I do have a legitimate fight coming up uh, in May, early June. Um, so I am tr uh, currently actively training for that, and it's something that I'm not going to give up on. It's something that I'm going to continue to work out every day, five days a week boxing five days a week and lifting Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's just something I'm gonna do. I may film it one day a week, I may not. I might not do my whole workout like I did yesterday, but I did that purely because somebody had asked me if they wanted to see those, th that they wanted to see those things. Um, so that's kind of where I am with that. But I did wanna bring up something else. I had a comment that came in on one of my videos. It wasn't a recent video, it was one that I did months ago, but somebody had said, and I actually thought it was hilarious, but somebody said, did Darren's wife finally take his his uh, toy hunting crack pipe away from him? Basically meaning like, why are we not seeing more toy hunting going on? Or why are we not seeing it more often like we used to? So I, I wanna tell you guys something, okay? And it's something that maybe you don't think about, um, but I, I just feel like I need to say it. So I'm just gonna let you know, when I, I'm obviously doing this channel for th for three years now, the first two years of me doing this channel, I went crazy buying stuff. Um, I kind of figured it out over the last, between 2017 and 2019 when this year started, um, I spent about $50,000 on collectibles. Now, that's a lot of money. <laughs> um, and I'll be honest with you, I already have so much that you know it doesn't make sense to keep buying and buying and buying and buying and buying multiple times a week just to kind of put out content. Um, right now, my wife and, and myself are kind of like transitioning our thinking with like our money and stuff like that. So um, basically I've been cutting back solely for the purpose of, it's ridiculous to spend $25,000 plus a year on collectibles. Um, it's just not something that is, uh, that is sustainable over time. Um, and I'll be honest, our goal is to pay off our house in the next two years. Um, if I can pay off my house in the next two years and be and cut our bills in half, that that's the smart thing to do. That's the smart thing. You know, I, I already have so much and I'm not trying to boast or anything like that. I'm just saying that it doesn't make sense for me to do two, three, four videos a week of me buying stuff just to buy it for, for, for myself. Yes. But also for entertainment for you guys. Um, so the direction I'm going with this channel is more about me and my life as well. Um, I urge you to continue to follow these things if you've, been a, if you've been a fan of horror on me for a long time. Yes, I will still toy hunt, I will. It's just not gonna happen as often. It's not, it might not even be weekly um, because again, it just doesn't make sense. Oh, sorry, my dog's here, but I've been doing a lot of the VHS stuff as you know because it's what I can fit in my collection right now. It's something I'm currently doing. Um, and like I said, I can store those types of things right now. And it's, it's cost effective as well. You know, I used to go out and it wouldn't be anything for me to do a target hunt and spend $250 like that. And you do that multiple times a week and that adds up and that adds up and that adds up and that adds up. And then by the end of the year, you're like, holy shit, I just spent $30,000 this year. Um, to entertain you know is that is that smart you know I'm not a big youtuber you know 
I don't have th uh, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you know, where people are getting paid and they can just blow their money on whatever. You know, you watch these big guys like uh, Mr. Beast or whatever that have million, millions and millions of subs and they have the ability to give away $100,000 every, every video, you know. I don't really make money, you know. Um, at the end of the day, I am a social worker for my job. My wife is a hairstylist and it would be stupid of me to continue that trend of what I've been doing for the past few years. Um, I'm getting older, um, as we all are, and, and priorities change. And right now my priority is to pay off my house. Because as you guys know, my brother is disabled and we have to buy another house. Uh, he will be living with me. My mom is getting older. He's currently living with her. And we have to be able to transition in the next stage of our lives. And I can't do that by being irresponsible with money all the time. You know, it's okay to do it every once in a while, uh, you know, once or twice a month, maybe pick up a few things here and there. Um, but to just do it solely for the purpose of putting out content on YouTube just doesn't make sense. So I wanted to explain that to you guys a little bit more so you understand why the videos aren't coming as far as toy hunts like that as often as they used to. Um, it might seem obvious to some people, but uh, others are, you know, I'll get comments like, where are the toy hunts, where are the toy hunts, where are the toy hunts? You know, what happened to Darren's channel? You know, it used to be so awesome and I used to get thousands of plays on every video. I don't care about that. You know, I, you know, for, for a long time when I was trying to build my channel, I was like, yes, you know, this video is doing well. But I don't really care about thousands and thousands of plays. I care about the people who comment on my videos, whether it's one person, 10 people or 100 people, right? It doesn't matter, I do this simply because I enjoy it. Um, so I just kind of want to explain that to you guys a little bit. I don't want to rant about it, I just wanted to kind of fill you in on why things are the way they are. And uh, yeah, I'd love, to, I'd love to hear your comments about this stuff, guys. Um, again, it's I've always been honest with you guys on my channel, I don't hide stuff, I don't sugarcoat things. So this is kind of why today's daily vlog is what it is and why I wanted to tell you guys this. So. I just want to say I love you guys. Thank you so much for continuing to follow everything I do. Uh, please subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to see more. And again, these vlogs are just to show you more and more about my daily life. Um, yes, I'll still continue to toy hunt and do these things, but it's going to be, um, you know, not. It's going to be more sporadic, I guess I should say. So, I want to say I love you guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video.